This is a zip. It's a file comprised of multiple files, compressed together and then encrypted to protect whatever's inside. The contents of this file, unknown. It first appeared in my archives about two years ago, lying dormant until I discovered it two weeks ago. It has taken Megadesk, my AI-enabled computer, that entire two weeks of a brute force attack to open this zip file. Do you want to know what's inside? Because it can't be anything good. Kind of mentally prepare yourself to open up this file because there is genuinely a real threat. Yeah. What is the threat? The threat is unknown, really. Yeah. Like the threat is the very fact that we have no idea what is on this. Could just be a bunch of viruses. I don't know. But Megadus is pretty capable. You got firewall, Matt? Yeah. I mean, like I built that in, but you know, you never know. But are like you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so immediately there's another zip file I'm noticing, mm. and there's a chat log, 2383 everything chat log 9332. Let's open the document first. So here we go. Look at this. We have a chat log here from Cyphus and someone named Jcron. Cyphus, I've dealt with Dr. Mercer. She won't be a threat any longer. <laughs> okay, off to a great start. Mercer, yeah. Jcron 987, good to hear. How did you manage that? Cyphus 590. I made it look like a natural death. No one will ever suspect a thing. So he just, he's, oh. he just murdered. Wow, we're just like diving right back in. Jcron, oh, impressive. Why didn't you take advantage of her medication intervals? Cyphus, poison is crude. Besides, I wanted to try this new method. What is her identifier? Her identifier is 432239874928322. How does this affect timeline 432? Cyphus, timeline 432 will soon loop indefinitely as planned. Dr. Mercer's meddling is no longer an obstacle. Loop indefinitely? Loop in what does that mean for a timeline? To loop. I was stuck on Mercer's meddling. <laughs> yeah, some nice alliteration for you. Ugh. Timeline 432 will loop indefinitely. That sounds terrifying. That but is but actually what scary. Does that, what does that mean? Just the, the beginning and end of time just keep going back into each other? Are you aware of it? I've personally never heard of timelines looping. No. No. What about her counter technology? She close to completing it? She was making progress, but that progress ends with her. You must have found her work. Are you certain it can't be replicated? Please, I've made sure of it. The information is now under my control. How is your progress on subject two? Subject two. Is that Sam? What? <laughs> Conversion was not required. She's ready and willing. Ah, I mean, obviously this isn't about me. Like, I mean, well, but if this is a different timeline, they're talking about timeline four something, whatever, right? Yes, but you have to remember that this file was created in timeline 863. I think Mercer had to do with timeline 432, but I think there's Don't like, this so. is taking place in, in the 863 timeline. Yeah. Do you know anything about this? No. That's what I'm trying to, I, that's just what I'm trying to like get clear is that like this isn't me. Because every time, like I'm just so used to seeing the phrase subject to and being like, oh yeah. great, my life's in danger. Wait, stop. I just can't. What? No. <laughs> no. Okay. What? I'm, I'm not even kidding. This is about me. That's you. Is that, I, I don't know, I actually doesn't look like folks. you. I don't have those pants. You're telling me subject four goes back through every video you've been in and they won't see you wearing those. Absolutely. I'm not kidding. Matt, I don't know how to explain this. You don't know? No. Okay. Oh God. I don't know. No, yeah, that, that I, sounded like you were telling, you don't know. I don't know. We don't know. Oh, know. <laughs> this is the first time I'm hearing about this. Excellent. The absolute maintains his power as it should be. The future is mine and nothing will change that. Really, I'm glad to be a part of your grand design, Nelson. Cyphus, loyalty is noted and appreciated. Together, we'll ensure that our vision becomes a reality. Jcron, I have no doubt. Now, we must focus on securing our control over the other timelines. We can't afford any more interference. Understood. I'll remain vigilant and update you with any developments. Cyphus, good. Keep an eye on any potential threats. And remember, failure is not an option. I won't disappoint you, Nelson. The future is ours. All too familiar. What do we make of this? So they have some like new research or device thing, right? 
that yeah. Cyphus used to unalive Dr. Mercer. Dr. Mercer? Can you read the line about Subject 2 again? Please, I've made sure of it. The information is now under my control. How is your progress on Subject 2? Conversion was not required. She was ready and willing. I don't so, like that. I don't like that. <laughs> subject 2, like, joined the cause. <laughs> yeah, you didn't need convincing. Why are oh. you saying me? I mean, you're an extension of sub subject You're an extension two? of 863. You're a fracture of 863 Subject yeah. 2. I don't really know what to make of this. Is there more information like in the other file? Um, okay, let me, let me close this one obviously out. Obviously, there's something about like new experiments. This one needs a password as well. Maybe it's the identifier from yeah. the document. The identifier number. The password that you typed is not correct. Try typing it again. What about the, the timeline that they were talking about? Just 432? The password that you typed is not correct. Try typing it again. What's the name of the file? The name of the file is 389291928383. Uh, that, that doesn't mean say, anything to me. Relevant, yeah. What about like absolute? Mm, okay. Password that you typed is not correct. Try typing it again. Can we just have Megadesk do this one too? <laughs> well, yeah, but a brute force attack takes weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what, what else can we do? What else can we do? With, like Think. subject two. You're subject two. You'd know if you knew, unless you're hiding something. I'm not, maybe not <laughs> this. I'm just playing. I'm just not playing. this I'm, again. I'm just no, playing. I'm Are there any other numbers in this document? The only number that I see is her identifier. <gasps> her identifier. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Hold on. That's her full identifier. And then I remembered the tool that I'd been working on for months. Didn't we already try that? No, 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 not as a password. To reach out to her. And now you'll witness my real purpose for Megadesk. What? Oh. <laughs> Look at this. Name, Dr. Mercer, timeline identifier. Just copy and paste that. Encrypted sequencer, don't need that. Let's just connect to timeline. Whoa, Dr. okay. Dr. Mercer. We got a first name. We got a first name. Are we calling her? <laughs> yeah, I'm pinging her. Megadesk is wild. Wait, so how are we contacting her if she's dead? I'm seeing if she's actually dead. I want to know if someone picks up. Because, I mean, this is my only lead right now. Might as well use it. I mean, it doesn't seem like... Dude, she's not responding. What did it say in the chat log? It said that her death affected 432, right? No, it didn't say her death affected it. It said that he killed her. So did he kill her in timeline 432? Oh, yes. He killed her in timeline 432. So can we call her? Can we try her in a different... Ooh. We can try Ooh. her. Which one do we choose? Okay. I don't know. Do we choose? Let's just go... Well, what about this? In, in a similar sequence as 864, right? If we count down, we're closer to maybe the more official timeline. So maybe we can go to 431. Sure. How about that? I see that. Uh, I'm going to paste the identifier. I'm just going to change the 432 to 431. That's so funny. So your identifier is like your inter-timeline phone number. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You could put it that way. That's not going to be confusing at all. Yeah. <laughs> Let's start conversations with all, all of, of her them. timelines. You know what? Let's just go to one. Timeline yeah. one. No? Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're online. What We're online. is this? Evelyn? Okay. Can she hear us? Uh, no, she can't hear us. Overkill from timeline 864. You might have heard of me as subject one or Matthias. They go by a lot of different names. <laughs> I need your help. But I mean, are we really about to tell her, like, hey, you're dead, by the way. Like, Cyphus is gonna kill you. You know, if Nelson wants to kill her, I'm assuming that she most likely has some past with Nelson, and so she'd probably want this as a warning, if anything. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Apologies, how can I verify your identity? The evidence, the chat log. I found evidence that suggests you were murdered in timeline 432 by Nelson Cyphus. I'm sharing the chat log with you now. Okay, so I'm gonna send the chat log here and send. Files usually lose a lot of quality and uh, structure when you're sending them through time. Because <laughs> this is like a special app that we're using to contact her. Right? Yeah, this is custom coded. It uses the same protocol that's across timelines. This is very concerning to hear. Please verify the information. Give me a moment to look over this chat log. So she's obviously upset and concerned about this. Yeah, this can't be a shock to her, right? It just can't be. <laughs> All right, to be safe, I cannot share details that I wouldn't already presume Syntec to know. I have to protect my daughter. Lily is my top priority. How can I help? Well, let's just learn a little bit about her. I mean, obviously we have like a little bit of a motive there, but I, I want to know a little bit more. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself so I can better understand why he has targeted you? 
What do you think her project is? I don't know. Probably something to stop whatever Cyphus's plan was. It's personal for me. Syntec blacklisted me after falling out. I joined Deb to create the Redacted, and I've been working on Project Sunder most recently, a counter technology to Project Nexus. If I'm successful, it would restore autonomy to the timelines and protect them from Nelson's control. Wow. That sounds great. <laughs> would this yeah. project cut off inter timeline communication? It could yeah. cut off movement between timelines, or it could also cut off Nelson's timeline from his access to everything else to allow these timelines lines to, to breathe, basically? Yeah. Maybe she can help us understand a little bit more details about the murder, so we can possibly, you know, surface more information about it. Why 432, though, and not any of the other ones? Maybe because 432, Project Sunder was actually going to be successful. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe in 431, Project Sunder, like, has missing pieces or something. I wonder if she can validate or verify. Hold on. Do you have access to police or federal databases in 432. I'm curious, can you verify that you are missing in timeline 432? Mm, that's a great question though. Yeah, I'm very curious. Wait, I have access. Let me check the NCIC databases. NCIC databases, that's new to me. What's NCIC? The National Crime Information Center is the United States Central Database for tracking crime-related information. The NCIC has been an information sharing tool since 1967. Wow. Oh, yes. I found a missing person case for Dr. Evelyn Mercer from 432. This is horrifying. Oof. Poor Evelyn. Yikes. Yeah. Now she knows she's missing in another timeline. This has happened already, so there's nothing we can do to stop there's it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. I mean, we can get all the information and surface it and give it to the authorities. Where is he? He's not here. It's not even in this timeline. Yeah, we, like this didn't even happen in this timeline. The idea of taking this to the authorities, which is the comment's favorite suggestion, we we can't even... Well, you know, if uh, through this system we can we can pass information. That's what I was going to say. That's true. We can notify the authorities of 432. Four, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Do you have enough connection to send files? I'd be curious to know like what Project Sunder is. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was wondering too. Downloading the missing person report now. She read my mind. Yeah, okay, so not... Not crime scene. Cypher, yeah, because Cyphus said that he made it look like an accidental death. Yeah, so it's, like the it's, death was natural. It's interesting that it's not like a autopsy report. Yeah. It's a One missing moment, person sending. report. Oh. Whoa. Oh, she looks nice. Missing. Can you help? Dr. Evelyn Mercer. Dr. Evelyn Mercer, age 45, 5'7. Five, Last seen wearing gray hooded sweatshirt, black leggings, and blue running shoes. Identifying characteristics small mole on the left side of her neck. Silver necklace with a pendant in the shape of a DNA helix. Last seen June 12th, 2020, at 6 30 a.m., leaving her residence for a morning jog in Green Hill Park near her home. Wait, that was a long time ago. Wait, 2020? That's three years ago. Yeah. So, so this, this happened three years ago and I mean that tracks because this the file that we found was a couple years old too, wasn't it? Which one? The one that I just uncovered. The chat. It was uh, yeah, the chat. Oh yeah, that like was the whole, from a the whole few file. Years ago. She has a teenage daughter named Lily Mercer. Her disappearance is considered suspicious due to her sudden vanishing and the sensitive nature of her work. Interesting. So. Did you receive it? Yeah. Is this all accurate? That's concerning. Yes, it's an offshoot of 431. Nothing really different here. Okay, so nothing's really different there. Other than the fact that she's missing. The morning run even is the same? Do you like, does she run in the morning too? It's like, is that all accurate? Every morning, the same jog for 20 years, although I suppose now I'll have to change it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no yeesh. kidding. Okay, so we're assuming that she was taken when she was on her morning jog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming at least. That would be a good idea. What do you know about Project Nexus? So she said she was working on Project Sunder. Mm -hmm. Which was a, like, a counteraction yeah. to Project Nexus. So getting in the way of Nelson. Mm -hmm. Project Nexus is Nelson's tech that allows him to manipulate timelines with a terrifying degree of control, often stopping them or causing them to loop indefinitely. It's his way of maintaining power. I don't know exactly how he does it, but I have my strategic preventions. It would be helpful to know the technology he's implementing so we can go on the offense, but for now I'll settle for my program. Huh. So looping timelines is a bad thing. Stopping them, obviously, is also a bad thing. But she doesn't even know how he's doing it. What would happen if Nelson connected the timelines? 
What does it even mean to loop? I don't know, because if there's no beginning and no end, then where is it looping? Like, is it looping from the like beginning of the creation of that timeline to its end? Maybe. Or is like, are everyone's lives looping? Like, I just don't understand. It sounds scary. <laughs> like... Dr. Evelyn Mercer says it would be catastrophic. Nelson could destroy, loop, or spiral any timeline. This includes 863 and all of its fractured timelines. He just needs to reconnect them. Then he'll have full control. H how? How might he connect them? How is that possible? All he needs is a simple exploit, a way to bring the timeline online, unencrypted, on systems such as ours. Mm. Okay. Okay, so theory in 864, the timeline that we're in right now, Megadeth is the only area in which timeline 864 is online. Mm -hmm. But I've also programmed it so only communication can pass, right? But I've fully encrypted it. So, I mean, I should be fine. But she says there's an exploit. Huh. Is that possible? How is that possible? How is that possible? Not from outside of the timeline as far as I'm aware. It needs to happen from within the timeline. But as long as a branch has access, he has access to the entire tree. What she's saying here is that the way to gain access to a timeline is for someone in the timeline to bring it online. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. So like what you did. <laughs> yeah. So like right now, are we bringing 864 online? But what does that mean he has access to the entire tree? What are you yeah. saying? Yeah, I don't understand that part. Maybe all, all of the timelines. Time yeah. Or like every branch from the original timeline. Like being the trunk, like whatever the main timeline is, yeah, the first right? timeline. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. We must prevent him from exploiting the fractures and gaining access to the other timeline. Yeah, if we have a major timeline and then something fractures off of it and you get access to the fracture, you can get back into the, yeah, yeah. Into yeah. the root. Yeah, you can get back mm -hmm. to the main one. Yeah, That's that scary. Sense. What can we do to stop him? What can we do to stop him? I need more information. None of this is really adding up to me. Let me investigate further and I'll contact you when I have more information. In the meantime, keep an eye out for any suspicious activity and gather any evidence you can find. Actually, one last question. Yes, the message about subject to. Yeah. Do you think that's possible? Say no, say no, say no. Yeah, like... <laughs> The universe is vast. I suppose it's possible that things could have gone differently in another timeline, but I have faith in our team and our mission. <sighs> so, I mean, that kind of feels like a nothing answer. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, yeah, Maybe. things change in other timelines. Yeah, I understand. Okay. I don't like Dark Sam being out there, if that's actually like... We'll chat soon, you know. she says. So what evidence can we gather considering we have access to other timelines yeah. well we still have to access that one file yeah, that we never password. got access to yeah it's got to be something in this document well what did we what did we learn from her project project oh nexus project nexus, nexus. Oh. i got in <gasps> that worked yes. yes wow i got in great look at this we have three more files another zip Dang. with a password oh my god stop <laughs> okay, okay well let's look well, at the other files and see yeah what's the first one okay we have 7933 worked at chrono shift png chrono shift <laughs> what is that it sounds like a transformer um, yeah, it does. photos sure it's a photo oh. oh whoa oh it's a drone what is that oh. is it a drone yeah it says chrono shift drone chrono shift drone prpn project yeah. project nexus yeah, what? Project Nexus Timeline Stability Control System. So is this That's how you control the timelines with a drone? What? Multi-layered temporal shielding, temporal resonance, compensation, absolute power core. Oh, uh, okay. We know that word. What? <laughs> it's being powered by the absolute. Yeah, temporal flux generator, absolute power propulsion system. <laughs> On Earth? Okay, oh, I... so wait a minute. Look at this. Specification, absolute power management system. The absolute power management system is responsible responsible for efficiently distributing the energy generated from the absolute power source to all the drone subsystems, preventing potential overloads or fluctuations that could compromise the drone systems or temporal manipulation capabilities. So... Temporal manipulation. Mind control. control. Temporal's time. time. Oh. So time control. I thought, You're like, thinking temples. I thought temples. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, yeah. like, temple control. Well, yeah. that's what the absolute was used for before, 
Well, yeah. Okay, Absolutely, so. Absolutely, it was used for mind control, but now it can control time. Right. Multi layer temporal shielding system is a protective measure designed to shield the drone and its internal components from the potentially harmful effects of temporal manipulation and timeline transitions, operating in alternate timelines and unstable temporal pockets. I can't say that my brain really processed that information. The drone has a shielding system to protect itself from itself. Crazy. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Quantum Timeline Navigation Array is a sophisticated guidance system that enables the Chronoshift drone to navigate and detect alternate timelines. Inter-timeline GPS. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keeps everything nice and neat. Whoa, that's fascinating. That is, that is crazy. Wild. Here's the thing though, you need the absolute to control this. Yeah. So are we assuming that they have the absolute in this timeline? I mean, they had it. Right. At some point. Right, because I mean, Nelson like, had it. Right. I'm Nels saying right now, though. <laughs> right now, I don't know, because all of this data is old. Do you see what I'm saying? All of this was from years ago. 6838 have TFG. Temporal flux generator. Okay, so this is a component within the drone. Project Nexus timeline stability control system. Same thing. Same project. Project Nexus. Fascinating. What's the definition of flux? Flux? That's a great... I don't know. Let's look. I think it means something that varies. The action or process of flowing or flowing out. Something that flows. So that would make sense that, you know, a timeline flows. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Right? It does sound a little sci-fi, doesn't it? Quantum flux entanglement emitter generates a localized field of entangled particles around the drone, enabling it to establish and maintain a stable connection with its original timeline. Interesting. It's like an air tag yeah. for it. <laughs> Even when operating within its unstable temporal pocket. So basically it creates unstable temporal pockets? Uh, what the heck does that mean? I don't know. It sounds like quantum entanglement, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, that's what it's doing, I think. Flux oscillation control module allows the drone to generate precise time Time dilation or contraction effects within the area of influence. By finely tuning the FOCM, operators can create specific time altering effects in the targeted zone, ranging from a mild slowdown of time to near standstill. Can they like target a person in a timeline and make that person like go through time really quickly? Or like, oh. like, cause it's saying targeting a zone. Yes. Like how specified, is this a weapon? Is this like an attack drone? I think you're onto something, Sam. Like remember, how Deb died? How she was killed with like an absolute, absolute gun. gun? Yeah, the absolute that, like, gun. That like we were like, oh, it looks like it like froze her, but what it actually did was like fracture her. Yeah. This kind of feels like something similar. It did say over here and on the other document too about pockets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So it creates pockets and it protects itself from its own pockets. So it's going into these alternate timelines and creating pockets of time that are potentially disruptive. Yeah. And so I'm assuming if you get stuck in one of those pockets of time you'll have whatever the effects of altering time altering time if this drone went to timeline 432 and targeted her mm -hmm. and then engaged its pocket of time mm -hmm. and accelerated it she would die naturally Interesting. So of because it'd be age. a natural cause of death. <laughs> yeah. So this fully matches up what Nelson said in the chat log of like I made it look natural. Oh, this is such a weird but kind of cool weapon that yeah. you can just like <laughs> think of it as like a time gun. It's yeah. like pew, yeah. all of a sudden you're 102 and you die. But yeah. It's like the temporal gradient regulation mechanism is a vital com uh, component of the temporal flux generator that allows for the gradual and controlled transition between different rates of time within the drone's area of influence. That's Whoa. so weird. This could be used as like an anti-aging advice. <laughs> That's so funny. Dang. Hollywood would love I was gonna this. say, I know so many people would be <laughs> yeah. This is kind of a strange question, yeah. but on the missing poster, she looks older than 45. Is that just my, am I just mm. making it? One of the things that's interesting about that though, is like someone I know, I'm not gonna out them. At 40, they turn solid gray. Yeah, mm. that does happen. Yeah, yeah. At 40. Isn't that weird? Yeah. I hope that doesn't happen to me. I don't know, I'd look good with gray hair. It looks hair. cool yeah. sometimes. <laughs> it looks when, cool. when it comes in all yeah. at once, it looks cool. What's in the locked file now? Well, um, it's password protected. So, um... Let's see. What's stuff that oh, we just learned? Oh, Chrono Shift? Chrono Shift. That is such a cool name. It sounds like a Pokemon, Oh, too. Chrono Shift. Chrono Obviously, shift. Time Shift. Oh, Chrono oh. means time. Chrono means time. Oh, really right in front of us. Chrono yeah. Shift. That worked. Yeah, great. Great. What? Why did that work? Because it's the name of the... 
device. It's a yeah. pretty obvious password. Yeah. Because it's just bad I design on so. their end. Okay, so we have 4282-we-cstest-0023. This is a video. Oh, let's watch this it. This doesn't go well for us. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. It's the drone. This is a test of the drone. Time dilation, dilation test. test. I don't like this. This just gave me the chills. Oh, that's weird. Oh, it's only five seconds long. What? Oh. Oh. Shoot, that's... Oh, that's weird. Oh, I don't like that. Play it again. Oh, there's a person standing right there. Yeah. It stops time. Does it stop Whoa. time? What do you hear? Look at that. It like slows it down. Yeah, like we're recording here and then it starts up and you can see like the whole place shift. Like yeah, yeah. the camera like literally can't record it. So time is dilating. But then look at how it moves like within the time. Oh, bizarre. So did it like kill whoever was recording? Who knows? It says a time dilation test. So what we're probably witnessing here is the effects on the camera of like time dilation. That's bizarre. And then it just like, boom. I don't know what it's doing here, but maybe it's actually, I don't know, engaging it. I really don't have enough information. Yeah. Oh. So oh, is that's... time speeding up or slowing down, I wonder? Well, what's weird is it looks like everything in this world is kind of slowing down because because the video file is still only five seconds. But when yeah. you play it, it looks like things start happening in slow motion right. as it's dilating. That's really bizarre. Look, we have 83894 drone log. Drone log. Oh. Uh, okay, that's not helpful. Two hours, well, wait, 35 minutes? Will this have the log of when Nelson killed Dr. Oh, Mercer? maybe. If he did send a drone, and like this might be the log of the drone that he sent. Oh yeah, look at the dates. There yeah. might be the date of her murder. Hold on, it was I, in I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm gonna copy this. What happens if I just paste it in Notion? Oh, Whoa, Notion, come on. This Notion. video is brought to you by Notion. <laughs> okay, okay, look so at that. What Here date have, was she murdered again? It was 2020, 2020 June. Date, time, duration, timeline ID, mission objective, temporal stability, power consumption, operator, and notes. There is a date in June. Where's that? Bottom. Bottom? At the 12, 6, 11, 55. Timeline 432. Temporal instability induction. Induction. It's operated by Nelson. Okay, so. What does the note say? The note, DNR. DNR. Well, what do the other notes say? Minor temporal fluctuations encountered, successful induction, no complications, stable timeline, no action required, communication successful, minor delays, all systems functional, no issues, DNR. So it could be did mean, not resist. Did not return. Maybe, yeah, mm. like clearly it was successful. Did not return, that makes, why would it not return though? Well, because if he only pushed her through time to death. But the thing- Oh, the drone didn't return. Yeah, the drone didn't return. So the drone might still be in 432. Yeah. Look oh, at well, this. Oh, that's why it's the last one. All of these flights, temporal stability is like pretty high. The time dilation experiment's a little lower, but the one that Nelson did, 13% stability. And then back up to power consumption, everything's relatively low, except again, time dilation experiment. And then Nelson's is 95% power consumption. Do you think it had anything to do with Dr. Mercer's project? Because their project was all about like essentially making Nelson's as unstable as possible, kind of playing defense uh, my guess here is that he used the drone to its full capacity mm -hmm. sure to kill him. oh so yeah maybe as just opportunity like yeah. exploded or something exactly okay okay um, should we send that to her yeah I, bailey i think we should i think we should send uh dr mercer this information i think that's gonna be the best bet here oh and there she is. I think I'm close to figuring out how Nelson murdered you. Nelson might have used a chrono shift drone to simulate a natural death. Are you familiar with that tech? What? What do you mean, what? What are you talking about? Okay, so, so she, she doesn't, doesn't know. know. She doesn't know about the drones. How does she not know? Not know. What? What? This is not 431, this is 432. <gasps> Whoa! How? I guess I never stopped pinging her and it just okay. connected and she responded. Wait, Wait but so how? how is she alive? She's, she's alive! What? You're Dr. Mercer from timeline 432, right? Yeah, because we were oh, talking yeah, to we were four talking three. Oh, yeah, because we were talking to four three one. Wait, what? what? And now we're talking to four three two. How is she alive? Wait, why do you ask? Who are you? 
Um, okay, wait. Be careful. Because what if this isn't? What if this is Nelson? <laughs> like, what if this is Cyphus? What? In well, in 432? Like, what if this isn't Dr. Evelyn Mercer? This is just someone who has access to her account. Yeah. I've been talking to your alt in timeline 431. We discovered evidence of your murder because your involvement with Project Sunder from a found chat log of Nelson. Speaking with your alt, she discovered a missing person record of you from your timeline up until right now where you were convinced you had been killed. What's going on? If this is Nelson, he would already know all that. So well, what's the difference? Or he's just playing dumb. Right. I mean, he just wants you to say who you are. Well, yeah, because he's like, th he could just be asking, who are you? Who are you? To figure out, like, who's looking into this. This this is very concerning to Wait, hear. Wait, isn't that, that exactly that's what, she, what said. she said in 431? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the same person, <laughs> right? That's weird. <laughs> that like, is even bizarre. down to the hesitancy. <laughs> this dot, dot, dot. Okay. We but, know. <laughs> yeah, we know. We it's know. us. Where have you been? Very strange. Yeah, so the drone wasn't used to kill her? Because she doesn't know what the drone is. So if she wasn't... Yeah, if she doesn't know what the drone is and she's alive, something's sus. Yeah, I don't know. I was investigating a stolen artifact. The crime scene had traces of a different time signature, so I was called in. I had to go on location, so I wasn't online much the past year, but now I'm back. So it killed someone else. It killed someone else? Uh, no, a stolen artifact. Oh, like, sorry. Okay, so something. Was... So someone stole something else. Yeah. But like, is she not aware that there was a missing persons laying out for About her? her? Yeah. yeah. It's not just like, oh, I took a vacation and someone put out a missing person yeah. thing on me. But how how would she know? What if it was just in the database? Why would like her daughter or anyone like put out a missing persons notice if they knew that she was just working? Yeah, true. What now? Even though I'm thankful you are alive and well, I can't help but feel something still isn't right. Yeah, yeah. something doesn't. Who's not adding up? No. Why would Nelson sense. consider this a success? You know? Right. Yeah. Unless she actually did disappear and she doesn't know it. <laughs> yeah, no, but she's here and she's she's active. I agree. I must expedite working on Project Sunder. Please do not connect to the other timelines unprotected. We are protected. Yeah, don't worry. We encrypt all channels. Can we talk to 431 and tell him well, that we Yeah, no kidding. That should be enough, but just in case, I will send you V1 of Project Sunder to run locally. This should alert you of any suspicious activity before I can get V2 out to you. So then we'll know at least what Project Sunder is. That makes sense. It's a program to probably run and protect the system. Well, but how is she okay? Like, Yeah. I will contact my alt immediately. Please get to the bottom of this. Send me what you have and I will help. I repeat, keep your connection secure. Okay, will do. I'm not gonna send stuff just yet. No, I don't. I don't trust. Can you go back to four three one and send her the chart that we found? Wait, before we do that, there's still a folder we haven't looked at. What does it say? It says danger. Do not run. Okay, maybe <laughs> don't open. Okay. It. <laughs> this is just a folder, though. I'm not gonna run it by clicking it. Project Sunder V1. Which is what she's trying to tell us. I don't trust 432. No, but this says do not run because this is Nelson. Oh. All these files are Nelson's. She didn't send that to oh. us. This file existed in this zip for years. This is all information that Nelson has compiled. He stored this file and saying danger, do not run. So he has access to Project Sunder and this is probably then the really the root motive. Motive for what? Because apparently Dr. Evelyn is alive in timeline 432. So what did Nelson even do at this point? Well, I think we should run it because I mean, that would only help us, right? Especially if Nelson's one saying do not run. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> if from Nelson's perspective, he's scared of this file, it feels like we should run it considering that yeah. Dr. Mercer sent it to us, telling us to use it for protection. Why? Why? Yeah, why? The file was a trap. What do you mean? Dr. Mercer's alive. All the clues were handed to us directly by Nelson. Nelson wants us to get everything online. Because you're on Megadesk. Because, because you're I'm on Megadesk. on Megadesk. No, Nelson knows about Megadesk. 
I mean, like, this is probably all fabricated, even the stuff about Subject 2. He was just feeding it to us so that we'd get scared. So that scared. we'd figure <laughs> out, infor try and figure out information about other timelines and everything. I mean, Project Nexus, I mean, what does Nexus mean? It means, like, a connection point. Nelson can only gain access from within. Right. So he was trying to get you to download a file. This was his last ditch effort, and that's why he took that entire video, didn't upload it, so that I would find it later and possibly solve this and bring it all back online, just in case he went offline. And give us all of the information to motivate us to want to run that file. So Dr. Mercer, is Dr. Mercer even a real person? Yes, yes, I legitimately connected to her, but obviously this whole murder was fictional. It's all just planted evidence by, by Nelson. Just so we would open the file. It came back. What? The file came back. From the trash? How is that possible? From the trash. And now it says run this file. Don't. No. Don't no. How about, no. how about no. no? Can he like hear us right now? Delete. <laughs> it came back again. What, what does it say now? You will not win. Shut up. No, I don't like this. Megadesk, scan for malware. It appears opening the last zip file released a rootkit file. It is currently attempting to gain root privileges. Kill process and any connected process or file with prejudice. Certainly. All processes executed. That's wild. He had a program that literally tried to root my computer just now. Uh-uh. Megadesk? That's wild. I don't like this. This is not the blast from the past that I wanted. I mean, hey, we're safe. We're safe. <laughs> <laughs> so long as we don't go online unencrypted, we're safe from Nelson and there's nothing he can do to connect it back because he's not here anymore. That's crazy, guys. That is wow. crazy. That's wild. Oh my goodness. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna update Dr. Mercer just to make sure she knows that this is all fictional. He even went so far as to plant evidence in her timeline. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 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 you're notifying 431. Dr. And 432. Mercer. I need to instruct both of them that this was just fake so that they don't keep going into it. Yeah. However, you know, they need to keep doing their work. Yeah, definitely let them know that this isn't real. Exactly. But as long as we're online. Maybe we'll take some more cases. If you'd like access to all the files you saw in this video to take a deeper dive yourself, join our Discord and download them there.